I remember a few summers ago when ash fell from the sky and I could not play outside. It made me sad and disappointed because I wanted to go outdoors. The last thing I knew, Kevin was in Mom and did a good. I saw all the bloody trees. And I said, Mom, what happened? She told me about the large wildfire that I got into the gorge. Then this year, in second grade, I learned about the pipers and how the wildfires affected them. Have you ever heard about an animal called a pika? This is a pika. <laughs> I can saw small, round animals with brown and black fur to camouflage into rocks. They kind of look like rabbits, but also potatoes. <laughs> These two little mammals live in the mountains here in the Pacific Northwest. I guess it grows like grass and flowers. What if Holly is a plant and puts it in an ecosystem and the mirrors? I guess that the grass and the hay pods need to be water. Sometimes these hay pods decompose, which creates a nutrient source for plants. Also, the back packers stay for the home during the increased soil pressure and at times when water goes to the door. Packers allow snow covered moss to survive. This unique habitat was, dam was damaged by the Eagle Creek flood of 2017, causing many packers to die. You might be asking, how can we protect the packer? My answer is to leave no trace. That means you want to go to the habitat, be a spectrum, and we the way inside. In conclusion, the scientific name for Pika is Princess, which means Chief Latin, because the native people can call them Little Chief Yes. I think it's said, we saw three Pikas with respect the name of life. Thank you.